Hi, today I'm going to show you two different methods of how to convert a design that you've made in Word into an image so that you can send the image off to be printed, put on a t-shirt, used in a different design, use on a PowerPoint presentation or another presentation. You could use it for graphs or charts that you need to put into an Excel spreadsheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick design just to demonstrate the fact that I haven't already just used another image. So I'm going to fast forward the video as I make the design and then I'll come back and show you those two techniques. Okay, so now you can see that I've just made a quick design from the icons in Word and then just made a quick happy birthday at the bottom with a text box. So these are now several different images and shapes. So if I was to move one of them, they simply move as an individual component and not as a group. So the first method I'm going to show you, and I will show you the different qualities that you get from the two different techniques, and then you can make a decision on which you favor. So if you go up to File, Save As, and then I'm going to save mine as Balloons 3, and then you need to go down to this drop down here and go down to PDF, and then click Export. So on this page here, I'm going to insert a picture from file and then I'm going to go to balloons 3 and click insert. So my image has come up here and if you, if you look I can simply drag and make this image bigger or smaller but it moves as one single component. Now at the moment it's a bit clunky because you need to go to wrap text, make sure you're on picture format wrap text and go down to tight and then it will allow you to move your in fact I'm going to go and put behind text and that will allow you to move your image around your document and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how you can increase and decrease the size of this image and then we're going to look at the quality so if I stretch this image out to be quite large you'll be able to see the different qualities of the two different techniques. So, so far, if I just make this a little bit bigger, you can see that the lines here are fairly sharp. And if I scroll out, I'm going to do a different technique and pop it on this page here. So that you can see I'm going to actually insert a quick text box so that you know which is which so this is a PDF so let me just make my page a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger in the center so that is my PDF And then what I'm going to do is the second technique is to take a screenshot. Now on some PCs you can only take a screenshot of the entire screen. You then need to take it into your default image editing uh, app and then cut it down to the size you want for your image. So it would take a screenshot of the entire screen we've got here and then you'd have to go in and just cut out this section here to turn it into a screenshot of just this section. I'm working on a Mac so I can press Command Shift 4 and as you can see my cursor turns into a cross and I simply go to the corner, click and drag and then I can take my screenshot and now once again if I go to insert picture from file, go to my desktop, select my screenshot, click insert, once again this image comes up and I go to wrap text and put behind text. I'm just going to move that across and once again I'm just going to make this a 
as big as the PDF. And then just quickly insert a text box to show you this is a screenshot. And then we can just look at the different quality and then you can make a decision as to which you feel is the best for you. Okay, so if we just zoom in slightly, you can see that the screenshot is slightly fuzzy around these edges here. If you look at the text, the text has got very sharp edges, whereas you can see here, it's quite fuzzy. And if we go up to the PDF, you can see that both the text here is very sharp, as is the edges of your image. So now that I've shown you those two different techniques, what's more important is the fact that now when you go up to File and you want to find your images, those images are now in files in your computer. So these are now the image files that you can access. And here we've got the screenshot. Those are the files that you access in order to insert them into your various documents. So I hope that's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.